so with your permission let me start this session that today is the final session of our six days mission towards academic and research skill development not only confined to bisobharati fraternity rather it was now a national event because as i found that there are many library and information science professionals faculty members research scholars from different parts of india have joined and encouraged us to organize this kind of session frequently and today we have with us a very well known lis figure of india who is supposed to be the present heading the university library as well as department 2 of sikkim central university which is my neighbor central university one of the neighbor central university and i may address dr siram as my neighbor librarian uh, we are also central university and uh, i do claim that we have some sort of uh, you know by nature central university have some relation whenever we will have some uh, sort of discussion whenever we will get some opportunity to share our views we will do it and more than that dr sujit kujur who happens to be the assistant librarian of this university now there as deputy librarian i don't know whether sujit is there on the board uh, i think he may be so sujit is also there and dr siram is also by his expertise i think more than 20 years he is in this field and prior to join uh, sikkim central university he was in the thapar institute of engineering and technology uh, punjab patiala punjab and before that he was jp university uh, i guess and most likely in the year 2013 he might have awarded commonwealth fellowship and have some international exposure to do some kind of work and whatever he have gathered experience over here he has tried to induce which we actually eager and which we actually wanted because soon after his joining at the sikkim channel university what we guess by the uh, by the website by the facebook by the social network and from many other sources the tremendous development he has done over there and being a, a junior central university i must say whatever he has carried there that is really landmark and as we know particularly northeast there are some many problems infrastructure network and other things in spite of having several problems dr siram is a very enthusiastic energetic and innovative library personnel who is soldiering that library with i think it is uh, in many parts in many fold to compete with other central university particularly in the field of library services particularly in the field of library development so today he is here to enlighten us on a uh, topic uh, which is highly pertinent timely and i must say relevant for the scholars and scholars here i don't want to confine anyone as phd research scholars only because the persons those who are living in the academic arena they must be regarded as scholars in lifetime so tools and techniques for research impact assessment and visibility is an ever important ever burning issue in the field so and this topic i am confident enough that our lovely colleagues dr siram will enlighten us by another one hour one hour 10 minutes with his experience i must say and with his kind permission since today is the weekend most of the central university is here also parallel arrangement is there in the bisodi library network we have our youtube channel and with your kind permission dr siram we will upload this video soon after the session is over in our youtube channel so that it will not be confined only the the, the real time viewer rather for the post of this session many of the uh, information seekers or interested professionals or interested persons those who may intend to see they may visually from global level users to view this youtube channel so we will upload it so we are not believing and confined our faith only this 20 or 30 number of quantity of public uh, participants rather we want to disseminate this experience and this video to the end numbers of the uh, incumbents to our youtube channel so with these few words let me invite uh, our uh, speaker dr siram 
one of my best friends i must claim and to hand over the floor to you to gear up this session thank you very much dr shiva thank you dr nimai and thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to interact with the uh, elite panel of uh, library information professionals and faculty member of uh, vishwa bharati university so indeed it is a great pleasure uh, of mine uh, to be uh, on this uh, uh, this fdp which you have uh, initiated for the betterment of the faculty as well as the library professionals across your institutions as well as the indian uh, library professionals so thank you uh, so much for giving me an opportunity and thank you for giving me and uh, 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 briefing me about my work and appreciating my work uh, which i am taking at uh, uh, sikkim university so uh, let us start because this is a very uh, important topic and every uh, librarian faculty researchers must understood how we are going to make an impact uh, about our uh, the research work which we are doing uh, Uh, out of your day-to-day uh, -day, uh, activity uh, during your academic and research life cycle, so uh, in this uh, un, uh, this presentation is having background about the research impact. We are going to understand something about the concept of research and research impact. Then I am going to cover uh, what are the tools and techniques are available which can help to measure the research impact. Uh, of your uh, research work and then uh, how we are going to uh, use different system or different technology or different tools so that we can promote our research uh, activity and uh, create a visibility among the uh, the the uh, stakeholders or users who are reading your research and then if you have any questions i will shall be happy to answer those questions so starting with uh, the research life cycle we uh, generally consider a 5p which is uh, related to the planning then uh, project management then publishing then preserving and disseminating and then prestige and impact so uh, under planning generally we do some kind of literature review we start collaboration plans we do use citation management we do some uh, follow some ethical compliance Uh, we also plan for data management activity and also uh, try to apply for some funding uh, from different funding agencies and then under project plan we uh, look ahead with the data analysis research data ethics and compliance grant how we are utilizing the different grants and then progressing uh, our research work for publishing activity where we generally write for journals we try to find out suitable journal for our publications writing for the conferences uh, uh, book publishing and understanding the author rights copyrights all this activity are considered in the publishing activity then after that we consider it how we are going to preserve our research in terms of understanding the metadata uh, uh, submitting our research to digital repository the long term preservation data curation and sharing activity for the dissemination to the uh, global public then at the end we try to measure the research impact so in in terms of we generally look ahead with the citation we generally analyze our impact uh, through the alt metrics approaches that is alt alternative matrices so this life research life cycle uh, at each and every uh, uh, life cycle stages we do some kind of uh, uh, assessment and then we generally go ahead with the publications and then uh, ultimately we try to understand how much impact our research is uh, doing uh, with with the passes of the time so most importantly uh, how uh, when we are going to measure your research impact this is basically happening when you are going to publish a paper so the first and foremost important aspect is the publishing so as a researchers we generally make a huge stride in advancing the essential knowledge and your achievement can be save life change the way we understand the world and improve the quality of our life so when we ready for to share our uh, knowledge the, the best way is to publishing your work so because uh, you are spending lot of time in uh, and investing lot of money uh, in terms of uh, building infrastructure uh, 
spending a lot of time to gather the in, uh, different information, different uh, uh, research publication through literature review, study, uh, uh, book uh, uh, reading, and all those, and conducting different experiment in the lab environment. And then we come out of the result, which result must be published so that other people can utilize to, uh, to improve the uh, societal problem. So uh, when you decide when uh, where to publish and how to publish, there is a uh, we have to choose a journal. So uh, which platform we are going to publish? So right time, uh, right type of the journal is essential uh, component to publish your uh, research work in in uh, which is most related to your uh, the activity which we have done uh, during your experimentation, during your lab activity, or during your uh, research work. So uh, when and what to publish, we have to very careful about uh, the right time when you are going to publish this. Generally, students do, they finish their work at the end of four years and then after three years, they try to get it published by the time their uh, tenure of research work or PhD work is over. So they become more uh, uh, worried that uh, my, I don't have any publication and the mandatory requirement to publish a paper is there before you submit your thesis. So we have to understand what is the right time and what to publish. You have to also understand what kind of uh, work you need to be published. So generally, uh, the people start with searching the literatures. They uh, collect a uh, huge number of literatures and they uh, publish as a review paper. So I suggest that whenever I discuss with our faculty or our research students, they, we generally suggest that with your literature review, you can at least publish three public uh, papers. One is related to your core literature review. Another is you can uh, go ahead with a systematic li uh, literature review. Another form is the scoping review. And if you are having some kind of interest, you can have a general bibliometric paper. So at least three to four paper is always possible uh, to publish uh, out of your literature, which you collect for your research work. Then understanding how to write a great research paper. That is another very important uh, um, part of the research life cycle. So uh, writing skills, use of uh, uh, citation tools, use of language tools, all are very important component when you are going to write a paper and that help a lot to uh, framing your the manuscript. Choosing the best journal. So most of the publisher now started providing the journal selection tools through which we can select a proper journal to publish your research work. Using open access option that all uh, now uh, open access uh, activity is becoming more and more popular. So most of the journal uh, content are now becoming uh, open so that it is accessible by each and everyone without any charges, without any subscription. So it gives a great visibility of research work. So uh, try to find out the options, how you can publish your work in open access publishing model. Navigating to the publishing processes, so uh, proper submission, checklist, author guidelines, all these activities are very uh, essential to be followed uh, as per the publisher's guidelines so that your whole publication uh, work become a very easy and your, you get a minimum time, uh, like you can minimize the problem in uh, the process of reviewing, editing, and all these things, all, all are very, very important component when you go for the publishing activity. Getting the most of your peer review. So uh, whenever uh, your journal, your article is pub uh, submitted to a journal, these are uh, go, uh, these papers goes through a publish peer uh, review processes. So uh, the reviewers give some comments, they approve it, discuss, uh, approve it, or they give some comments to improve the quality of uh, the journals. The each and every uh, researchers must carefully go through those review comments and incorporate all those changes so that it is uh, immediately approved by the uh, editors and reviewers so that it, uh, it, it get published. So publishing ethically, so you have to follow the ethical guidelines, copyright uh, issues, then animal uh, uh, ethics, all, all those things are very important. Uh, and the, the journal generally ask the uh, declaration about you have followed all ethical guidelines in terms of conducting experiment. And uh, those are, uh, nothing has uh, been uh, against any, any law uh, of, uh, of the society. So this process generally uh, uh, understood by when you are going to publish. 
and what to that is the uh, if you have any story to tell that is story is basically related to your research work it should be presented in the form of uh, some kind of historical uh, uh, way so that it, uh, the user get attracted towards the research publication then uh, understanding the target audience who is going to read your, read your paper uh, who is going to refer your paper all those things should be kept in mind and how you can tell your story maybe uh, by publishing uh, significant data providing details developments and outcomes letters to the editors or short communications then review papers research element articles completing uh, comply uh, which complete full uh, research and uh, research paper research data and then methods and protocols, software, code, all those things are different form of uh, publications. Another uh, is how you are going to write. These uh, may be related to the uh, following the subjects in terms of uh, uh, recent developments. Uh, then uh, there are a lot of uh, information that is keeping you updated without uh, about the publications journals review processes and then uh, also following the author guidelines provided by the publisher to be very specific and accurate in reporting the results so uh, adhering to these guidelines make up uh, publications quicker ultimately you got a paper which is uh, is your work and you feel happy about uh, any kind of publications you are bringing into a journals thereafter uh, once you got a publications it is essential to measure the research impact this measurement is generally uh, uh, related to all the research activity which you have carried out following those five p's and uh, it is ultimately it is essential we have to understand that research is very very complex and social activity and activities are very difficult to measure directly so what i mean to say that uh, you cannot assess that whatever research you have carried out it has direct impact on your uh, your uh, your research so it should be measured with the some kind of quantitative data these quantitative data is generally related to your uh, uh, citation uh, data that is uh, uh, based on some kind of indicators and that indicator is generally related to input output and impacts so input is uh, basically the uh, the uh, quantum of time or resources you have invested for fueling the scientific activity and the output is related to all the work which have been uh, brought out in uh, as a form of knowledge that is uh, the, the publications and patents and then uh, impact is which is indication of major the way in which scholarly work has been effect upon the research community and society so based on these three uh, uh, distinct type we generally look ahead with how we are going to measure this uh, measure this uh, effectiveness based on certain kind of data these generally uh, data are being analyzed as a librarian we call it a centrometric or bibliometric analysis so whenever we uh, find out the impact of any research we generally look for some kind of data which is related to the citation impact factor h index all those things are uh, librarian generally look for for a publications out of different data sources so these uh, publications uh, come out as a by product is measured in in terms of two two uh, 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 distinct categories so one is the bibliometrics or we call it a tra uh, traditional citation based uh, indication metrics and they are uh, based on citation count counting uh, how many times a publication has been cited by another journal publications and uh, these are carried out for the authors institutions country journal or subject area and another form of uh, impact assessment is alternative matrix that is called alt matrix so this is a web based matrix which is uh, based on the uh, scholarly work of various type on online platform including social media research blogs reference manager software educational sites uh, news outlets uh, online forum and all uh, other uh, online platform where uh, what kind of activity uh, for a paper is happening that is uh, traced out, counted, and compiled as an alternative matrices. 
so uh, these research matrices we generally uh, consider as a quantitative indicators which is very essential to uh, to just the quality of researchers which is used for career advancements funding job opportunity so we generally use these matrices to assess an individual as well as the uh, uh, assessment of the uh, quality of the publications he generally brought out out of their research so these quantitative indicators uh, generally uh, measured based on uh, two aspect one is the journal label and another is author label so uh, for the purpose of assessing uh, these two uh, different labels generally we collect data from different data sources the data base sources are uh, data coming from indexing and abstracting databases like pubmed uh, ibisco Pro, uh, proquest uh, agris uh, library of congress catalog oclc cabi jgate and then uh, citation indexes which is uh, web of science scopus indian citations uh, index google scholars as a traditional form of the matrices because we have a direct data sources uh, coming out of uh, these uh, uh, source of information then there are certain uh, non traditional matrices which is we call it alt, alt matrix so there are uh, different parameters from uh, different data platforms from where data is collected to calculate an alt matrix score so maybe uh, social activity news mentions blog policies uh, mentions twitter peer review process vivo facebook google plus wikipedia uh, linkedin f1000 uh, uh, video mentions celebi and uh, readers on reference management uh, platform like mainly so all these data are uh, part of uh, alt matrix score calculation then another uh, is another method is the plum analytics is the product of scopus now they are using this plum for analyzing the citation uh, behavior uses capture mention and social media so all these five parameters are used to uh, analyze using plum analytics platform then citation indexes generally uh, from scopus web of science indian citation index and google scholar so these are uh, a common method of calculating the citation uh, of our publications published in different journals and conferences or book so uh, for general matrices these are based on uh, impact factor of the journals available through journal citation impact Third, uh, then there is eigen factor then uh, there are cite cite scores in cygo uh, cymego uh, journal ranking and then google metrics so all these uh, four to five matrices are there most uh, commonly used by the uh, researchers or used by faculty to assess their impact in impactful journals journal citation report is is uh, 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 proprietary product from clarivate web of science so this is generally provide the transparent publisher neutral data and statistic need to be confident decision in today's evolving scholarly publication landscape where authors submitting their first manuscript or managing a portfolio of thousand publications so we have to understand uh, this uh, journal citation report is having uh, rich uh, citation matrices including journal impact factor alongside descriptive data about the journal's open access policy and content contribution by the authors so uh, jcr indicator summarizes the wealth of information on journal citation data immediacy index journal citation index impact factor and all other uh, associated matrices which is generally used by the publishers to showcase their impact so citation report is generally based on the citation count each paper score one uh, once an article is published in a journal so whenever a paper is cited by your paper is cited by other you are going to uh, receive one citation for your paper so uh, based on citation the impact factor is calculated this impact factor is a measure of the frequency with which the average article in a journal has been cited in a particular year or a period so impact factor designed by uh, eugen garfield one of the very famous library information profession uh, professional who has given the uh, idea of uh, uh, this uh, concept uh, by uh, by establishing isi in 1995 uh, 1955 which is a very important uh, uh, 
tool to measure the uh, selection uh, to to measure uh, the uh, uh, journal selection for the purchasing at that time so uh, there is a method they have he has given a formula to calculate the impact factor based on two years period which is uh, related to the dividing the total number of uh, articles cited over uh, total number of articles published in into those two years so uh, he has given a formula that is related to the uh, number of our times article published in the two years last two years for example for the calculation of impact factor of 2019 so the data uh, number of article published and cited uh, into 2019 which have been published in 2017 and 18 and divided by denominator, that is the total number of citable article. This citable article is basically the article review or conference papers. So other, other form of the document types like uh, material, editorial material, letters, abstract are not part of the uh, citable item. So based on that, the impact factor is calculated divided by uh, A by B, means the total number of articles published in two years, uh, cit uh, citations received in two years, and cited in, two uh, in, in, in that particular year, and then uh, total number of uh, article published uh, in last two years. So uh, it gives an impact factor which is related to uh, uh, in, in two form the in that particular year as well as five years impact factor that is as an average so uh, this is very very important component to assess the importance of a journal in a particular discipline this is also related to you can uh, as a librarian you can find out the list of uh, journals which is having impact factor and then uh, having the subject categories then uh, journal citation indicators uh, also some information related to open access uh, publishing activity. So all these information uh, they, uh, which is available from uh, journal citation report also provide the ranking in the category. Suppose a science or humanities or social science or library science, they also provide a ranking of the journals. So uh, in the form of quartile, that is uh, the 25% in uh, put into a four quartile like Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. So uh, top 25 will be in Q1, then thereafter Q2 or Q3, and last K25 uh, they put into Q4 category. So uh, as much higher is the Q, uh, the quartile, uh, the paper is considered, the journal is considered as uh, the highest impact bearing journals. Then uh, publishers also, uh, this also provides some kind of indexing that is journal immediacy uh, index, which is indicate that how quickly an article is, cite, uh, is cited. And then aggregate Im uh, immediacy index, which is indicating that how uh, quickly article is uh, cited in the, that subject category. So these are also very, very important uh, uh, parameters to assess the value of the journal and value of the publication, which you are publishing in a a high uh, uh, journal immediacy index or aggregate imme immediacy index. So you can see that the CAA cancer journal uh, for clinician, which is a very, very impactful journal and it is impact factor is 292.278. And it is always uh, Q1 uh, category and ranked number one in oncology uh, publications, oncolo oncology subjects. Then, uh, Another important uh, matrix available through this is the eigenfactor, which is generally measure the importance of a journal within that uh, subject category. So uh, higher is the eigenfactor score, more is the uh, importance of the journal in that subject area. So this is also automatically available through eigenfactor.org. So you can easily find out this uh, journal uh, eigenfactor score by visiting the uh, site eigenfactor.org and identifying the journal indexing there. Another very important uh, uh, alternative to impact factor uh, is site score. This is maintained by Scopus, uh, maintained by Elsevier using Scopus data. So uh, site score is, you can uh, say that it is an alternative to impact factor and freely available. But whereas uh, uh, impact factor, journal impact factor are subscription-based access provided by uh, Clarivate. 
the CITES score is freely available. You can uh, always compare this uh, CITES score with journal impact factor. So you can see that here also uh, CAA Cancer Journal of Clinician is the highest uh, CITES score uh, in, in the, that subject area in oncology. Then there is another matrix which is also based on Scopus data is Simago uh, journal ranking. So it is always uh, under uh, is SJR and SJR uh, country ranking. It is another platform to understand the uh, different journals in the uh, published across the world. So here also we can see that uh, CAA Cancer Journal of Clinician is the top uh, uh, journal which is having highest SJR score. So likewise, these are the, uh, then Google Scholar also provide, uh, compile uh, Google Scholar metrics. It also publishes uh, uh, journal metrics based on, uh, uh, based on citation of Google and H index available from the Scopus, uh, is, is Google Scholar uh, platform. So you can, this is also free. You can easily uh, find out the important journal uh, through Google Scholar metrics. So these are the uh, uh, common journal matrices, which is uh, user can, a uh, scholar can look at uh, to understand the importance of a journal where they can publish their research publications. So how we are going to analyze the impact through various databases. So uh, there are uh, uh, the databases available like Web of Science, which is subscription based uh, product. So it is one of the very, very comprehensive uh, uh, data source for abstracting and indexing of the uh, publications uh, in all disciplines. So it is earlier maintained by ISI, uh, ISI Thomson Reuter, but now it is maintained by Clarivate Analytics. So uh, it was founded by Dr. Eugene Garfield, inventor of first uh, word for citation index. The platform allowed to track the idea across the discipline uh, and time, almost 1.9 million cited reference from 171 million records. So it is covering around 254 subjects. Now the subjects have been increased because uh, more than 21,000 journal has been indexed uh, in this uh, in this web of science platform. Then uh, it is having another very beautiful uh, uh, tool that is Copernio, which allow to access full text content in a single uh, click with the uh, wherever the uh, open access contents are available. So we have, if you install Copernio uh, uh, tool in your Google in your uh, browser, it will allow you to download any article uh, immediately without any problem. So Web of Science having uh, truly multidisciplinary uh, subject coverage, which is uh, include science citation index, social science in, uh, index, art and humanities, emerging source citation index, book citation index, and conference proceeding citation index. So you can see that huge number of uh, indexing uh, journals are there, and journals as well as books and conferences are there, which is now available through Web of Science uh, platform. So you have to check with your uh, library whether these are uh, under your subscriptions or not. So other important indexing source which uh, Web of Science provide is Biosis, Medline, CABI, Geological Records, Inspect, Korean Journal Database, Resident Science Citation Index, CLO Citation Index, and Chinese Science Citation Index, and also Arabic Citation Index. So these are the uh, another other products which is uh, geographical or subject specific contents available through uh, Web of Science platform. Journal Citation Index report is a product which is compiling the impact factor of the journal. So all these uh, uh, platform, uh, this journal citation report is accessible through a platform known as Insight. So if your library is subscribing, you can easily uh, analyze the content using Insight, uh, you, through this platform Insight in terms of citation data, global matrices, multi-dimensional institutional profile, assisting in uh, measuring the productivity, benchmarking, and analyzing the collaboration and partnership with the other institutions also. So very nice platform is there. It's, you can generate a lot of, uh, 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 you can interactive uh, graph and you can analyze the data for different citation activities. It provides searching by author, searching by uh, references, advanced searching, uh, along with the basic searching uh, options available through the Web of Science platform. 
So uh, for analyzing productivity, so bibliometric indicators are there, like annual productivity, document types, author productivity, institutional productivity, country productivity, journal productivity, research areas, subject diversifications, funding informations, and then you can generate citation report by total citations, average citation per papers, H index, highly cited articles, self citation status, and impact factor of the journals. All those things are nicely, uh, these analysis can be performed uh, over the web of science and you can easily find out the different reports for your research impact assessment. So like annual output, so you can also compare the growth of uh, literature over the time period. You can also analyze the different type of documents available uh, or published and indexed into the web of science. Then uh, you can analyze the institutional output in terms of number of uh, uh, citations, H index, journals, annual growth, citation growth, and you can easily compare with the different uh, institutions altogether so that you can assess uh, how your institution is performing as compared to your peers. Then citation count, and this is another very, very important uh, aspect of measuring the impact. You can easily understand how many papers have been cited, what is their uh, growth, and then uh, what kind of uh, uh, trend is happening uh, with your publications over the time period. So this is my publications, and I can see that my publication is progressing over the time period. Then you can also analyze the uh, country output. So if you want to see that how uh, different countries are performing in a particular subject area or particular subject domain, you can easily ident uh, identify the total number of publications published out by uh, those countries. Then uh, you can easily analyze the journal output. So in your subject area, which journal is publishing uh, what quantum of publications so that you can also choose those journals for publishing your research work. So this is a very important uh, analysis uh, provided by Scopus, uh, this uh, web of science, so that uh, you can easily choose an impact, impact factor bearing journal to publish your research paper. You can easily analyze the author productivity. So this is the profile of uh, some top publishing authors from Vishwabharti. So uh, you can easily analyze the annual growth, citation growth, uh, citation, uh, total number of citation, H index of individual by analyzing the data. So uh, they, uh, the platform provide total publications, then provide citation, uh, citing articles, then number of uh, times it has been cited, your citation per paper, without uh, self citation status and H index. So you can easily understand that how uh, an author from an institution is publishing and what is his uh, research uh, profile uh, in, in uh, available through Web of Science platform. Mm -hmm. H index is very, very important uh, uh, indicators which uh, used to assess the value of a research publication for an individual. So this H index is defined as the maximum value of H uh, such that the given author or journal has published H paper that have been cited at least H time. So meaning by uh, say, if you want to assess the uh, impact, you can easily find out that uh, the total number of publications published by uh, the author, if he has published 30 uh, articles, then uh, 15 articles have been cited by 15 times or more, then H index value will be 15. So uh, this was proposed by Hirsch in 2005, and it is uh, generally used as impact research for the career growth. So it's very easy to understand uh, the total number of publications out of uh, how many papers are having the same number of uh, citations, and then that citation will be equal to that value. So wherever the total number of articles having total uh, same citation or more coincide, you can easily assess the total citation, uh, total H index of that individual. Mm -hmm. Then another database, very important database is Scopus. So it is having a very huge uh, bibliographic data compilation, and it is uh, the one of the largest uh, abstract and citation database of peer reviewed literature of scientific journals, books, and conference proceeding altogether. So it delivers a comprehensive overview of world research output in the field of science, technology, medicine, social science, and art and humanities. It having a feature of uh, smart tools to track, analyze, and visualize your research. And it uh, from the journal, uh, from the Scopus, you can, uh, the matrices 
for the journals are CITESCOR, SJR, SNIP. So all these three matrices can be uh, assessed using Scopus data. The CITES score, it is, uh, you can call it equivalent to impact factor of a journal uh, released by Web of Science. Its size score is uh, based on three years publications and then uh, uh, four, in fact, four years publications and combined with the total number of publication during those four years. So uh, combining the uh, uh, CITES score for 2019, data is collected from 16, 17, 18, and 19 and then uh, divide total number of documents uh, published in those uh, two years. So uh, it is generally uh, similarly uh, similar score, which gives you uh, as, as uh, par with the uh, impact factor, which is uh, always used for uh, analyzing the quality of journal, uh, which is uh, index in Scopus, is about 22,220 uh, journal titles. So every year this uh, number is increasing where some uh, more journals are added and they are uh, calculated for their site score. So uh, understanding the site score, it is free to download. You can just log in, create a login with the Scopus and uh, find out the uh, Scopus listed journals and you can down, uh, download uh, Scopus source list and analyze the journals, which is indexed by Scopus itself. There is another matrix provided by Scopus is SNIP. It is the source normalized impact per paper uh, in, in that particular context. So it is a contextual citation where uh, the uh, SNIP is calculated that uh, how uh, the journal is performing between the same subject areas. So this is another important uh, uh, you can say the journal metrics that is used for publishing decisions. So you can, uh, this is also again available from uh, CITES score website. Uh, then another SciMago journal ranking, which is uh, compiled by the uh, SciMago uh, society. And you can download this. This is again free uh, to assess uh, 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 data for different journals. So you can download SciMago journal score by uh, same uh, platform. Scopus also uh, provide a lot of data analysis like uh, based on uh, EN annual publications. So this is Vishwa Bharti uh, publication, over 7,368 uh, articles have been published. So how these are performed, these, these matrices are available for different kind of uh, analysis like uh, uh, different journals by authors, then affiliations, then document type, countries, and then subject area. So it is very user-friendly interface. You can easily identify the different analysis available from the Scopus. You can also understand uh, how a particular author or particular journal is being cited over the time period. So uh, easily identify these uh, citation uh, status of uh, whole publications. Then uh, what are the highly cited uh, articles who have more impact? The, uh, this data is also available from the Scopus uh, database. NCBI PubMed is another very important indexing uh, um, uh, database in medical sciences. So it is a free, completely uh, free to use both um, uh, in biomedical sciences as well as health sciences. So it is having the category containing the site uh, articles from journal considered for out of the midline based on the content in science, medicine and uh, biology. So it does not having any uh, direct matrices to be calculated, but it is very, very important uh, uh, source for analyzing the data using different uh, softwares like publish or Paris. So it gives a free uh, content, uh, free source, which help you to uh, analyze using the software. Then uh, you can easily find out the, uh, uh, the, the, the content, export to different software for analysis. Google Scholar, it is another very important form of uh, research assessment tool where it is free to use and uh, it provides a lot of literature in all subject area. So Google Scholar help you to identify the most relevant research across the 
word of scholarly research. So all the articles freely available, uh, uh, it is the, the indexing of the articles freely available. You can use any time to understand uh, for your research, search the literature and assess the impact of your research work. So this is my Google Scholar profile. Uh, uh, you can uh, create your Google Scholar using your Gmail ID, Google ID, and you can uh, assess your impact in terms of uh, adding your papers, how many uh, papers have been cited, what is the trend, all those things are easily and freely available to you to assess your paper. It also provides some kind of indexing in terms of H index uh, uh, and I10 index also. So H index is basically uh, the number of papers which is uh, having the same number of uh, number of article having same number of citations. Uh, we can easily find out our H index through Google citation. And then it also provide I10 index means how many articles have been more than uh, 10 citations of your paper. So this is another important metrics provided by Google. So those are the uh, 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 traditional matrices. There are certain non-traditional matrices that is called alternative matrices or alt matrix. So uh, this is generally considered as impact beyond citation analysis. So uh, we have to uh, understand that how an article is uh, uh, find out and then uh, you can say that the site impact, the citation is single dimensional impact, whereas alt metric is multi-dimensional impact. Uh, it provides a multi-dimensional impact of your research works. So uh, this is, we have to say that Altmetrix is a data science company whose mission is to track, analyze the online activity around the scholarly literature over mainstream media, policy documents, social media networks, blogs, and other scholarly and non-scholarly forums. So Altmetrix are the matrices and quantitative that allow to how often uh, journal articles and other scholarly output are discussed over the social networks. So it is an alternative uh, matrices that will use to assess your research uh, impact. So based on uh, different parameters like usage, capture, mention, social media, and citation. So these, these are the parameters generally used to uh, calculate the automatic score uh, in uh, Plum as well as in uh, automatic uh, 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 platform also. So uh, whenever uh, these uh, uh, for your article, once you publish, these are uh, the articles are used at different forum like um, uh, shared by the others, bookmarked by others, viewed or downloaded. Then how many people are uh, saving this in uh, reference management platform like Mendeley or site to like. Then uh, how many people are mentioning it like blog and news or Wikipedia. Then how many people are sharing it is on Facebook, Twitter, or any other social media platform. Then how many uh, uh, citations are being received in cross uh, ref or scopers or w, web of science or dimension platform. So all these are combined together to bring out these um, matrices using uh, different IDs, which is available. So it is always, uh, 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 suggested that the author must use these IDs to promote their research work. They must create their ID at different platform or uh, assign different identity so that it become a persistent record for you to share your information across the uh, platform. So these uh, IDs help you to integrate the data uh, in a single ID uh, in, from multiple, uh, multiple dimensions to a particular uh, calculations. So all these uh, IDs are very, very helpful in integrating the data uh, captured by Altimetric platforms. So uh, uh, ultimately with uh, calculation of all the data, Altimetrics provide a donuts uh, image that is we call is uh, Altimetric score. So this colorful donuts provide the uh, scoring of your article in different uh, platforms. So each color of donuts represent a particular social media activities. So uh, how we find out what activities like the color of the donuts, like uh, purple is the policy document, uh, green, uh, red is news, yellow is blog, then orange is, is patent. So likewise, uh, whenever uh, 
your article get an activity on these platform, the donuts uh, take up uh, shape and the color is appearing as a ultimate score. So each and every uh, activity get up uh, points like news is the highest uh, point. Uh, if you if your paper is mentioned in a news, it get eight points. Then uh, YouTube get 0.25 uh, points for your activity. So average of all these things becoming a ultimatic attention score. Then uh, this uh, this is the ultimatic platform. You can search the data on your ultimatic.com and uh, search your articles and then see that what is the ultimatic score of your article on ultimatic.com platform. So each librarian can also have uh, this uh, free account where you can request ultimatic.com to create your free account, use your institutional ID and request ultimatic.com to provide your free librarian account. And you can use, uh, you can explore uh, the ultimatic data of your publication or issue publication individually. So uh, librarian exposure, uh, explorer ID is free of course, but institutional is the subscription based. So you can also see that uh, all those, how ultimatic score is spread across the different component. So ge geographical, social, news, blog, whatever activity is happening, you can easily explore the data uh, from attention score, then the citations, then uh, from where he's coming, then uh, uh, alerting, then geographical equation, uh, demographic distribution, all these things are possible through ultimatic dot com platform you can also export the at uh, 50 records as a free account uh, free librarian account you can export free 50 uh, records of an ultimatic uh, data so how it is going to be benefit so it is the type of attention in the research then places where the article received most attraction the countries the article influence policies then uh, reaction to the article through uh, feedback like whoever is liking or disliking all this information can be uh, find out through the automatic data then uh, what is the benefit it is going to be uh, benefit either discovering new research insight grant application promotions competitive insight journal evolution and influence of research over time so all these things are uh, possible through automatic information so uh, can I get a data if not have exposure? Yes, you can. You can identify the data from alternative like uh, Public Library of Science. So they also provide impact article level uh, matrices. You can easily identify the data from uh, PLS. Uh, uh, this is how uh, the data available from uh, alternative score. Then Dimension is also another platform which provide the alternative matrices data. You can easily identify the, uh, you can see that this um, ultimatic score there, and you can uh, find out that uh, how uh, social, uh, this social media activity of your article is happening on the, on the, uh, these different platforms. So for example, this is uh, uh, another important form. You can ease, uh, then there is another platform, Plumex. You can uh, install Plumex wizard. Uh, uh, visit and you can find out the complete information about your uh, research happening in across the social media platform. Then you can also, uh, it is also available uh, from the publisher's website uh, from where the, your journal article, uh, where from where uh, your article is published. So they also provide the online attention. For example, Nature is providing and uh, where uh, you can get the data 28 tweets three editions one blog and eight news outlets these are information and then also uh, the number of uh, downloads and citations available uh, on the platform itself i triple e also provide uh, the data related to the uses like uh, how much time the data has been downloaded then citation on the uh, Crossref, Scopus, and Web of Science, all these data are generally used for calculating the impact of your research. Then there is a website known as Kudos. You can create a free account and start adding your data. And it also provides, uh, this is my Kudos profile. I can see that how uh, my article is performing on the 
platform. So I can see that uh, this ultimate article score is two, and I can see that metrics is available on uh, on Kudas website. So I can uh, track out how my papers are performing, number of shares, how many um, views on Kudos, then how many people are reading, how what is my ultimate score, and uh, the Twitter, Mendeley, G Plus, all, all those things are uh, available through uh, Kudos platform. Then there is another website known as Puppier. Basically, this is uh, uh, based on uh, um, uh, data repository uh, system where uh, uh, whenever you are submitting any preprint pre repository, the data is fetched from there using our uh, Arch ID, DOI, PubMed ID, all those things, and then combine into the uh, combine at the peer, peer where the people are discussing about your paper. So once you submit a paper, they will uh, start commenting what kind of uh, uh, quality of your paper, what are the suggestions, what are the comments on the paper, all these things are possible so that you can improve your publication for final submission. So this is another platform is uh, PubLaunch, which is based on uh, Web of Science Researcher ID. So if you uh, created a PubLaunch profile, you can easily manage your uh, citation uh, research index and it is based on the uh, data available from Web of Science. So there also you can find out the ultimate score of all your papers. So this is my profile on uh, Publan. I can easily understand how uh, these citations are impacting uh, the citation. It is, uh, this is actually impacting the social media. Uh, the impact of social media is happening on the citations. So whenever uh, you share or you discuss, your paper is discussed on social media platform, it has a positive uh, impact on the overall citation score of uh, the publications. Some other uh, indices are also there. So you can analyze those like using BOS Viewer, Bibli uh, BiblioShiny, SiteNet Explorer, SiteSpace, Publish or Paris. All these tools are used to uh, analyze your data, analyze your publications or analyze different kind of publications to uh to develop a paper and also to assess the impact of the publications so uh, these tools are now becoming very popular and not only librarian other other subject experts are also using these tools to, to write a systematic review or bibliometrics paper after of their research topic so earlier the bibliometrics uh, was only a domain of library science but now it has become a universal domain where each and every subject area uh, experts they are using bibliometrics tool to write paper uh, using the different bibliometrics uh, uh, visualization tools so some of the other uh, important uh, important uh, uh, tools which is important to understand for sharing your article or to promoting your article over uh, over uh, different platforms so that you can get uh, impact of your research so sharing your articles increasing visibility writing a lay summary uh, using the power of social media and media coverage uh, are very very important uh, activity to do and then uh, tracking the impact of your research so some of the key activity that enhance uh, visibility are making your article more noticeable with the search engine optimization. So using different keywords, using different uh, uh, components of the keywords in your title or in your, uh, in your writing is helping to optimize the uh, searching by the different platforms. So SEO, uh, SEO tips include using appropriate keywords, especially in the title and abstract, adding caption with the keywords to all the photographs, images, graphs, and tables, adding title or subheadings to the different section of your article, making, your, uh, making sure that you place links to your article from relevant website, like your institution website, Wikipedia, LinkedIn, blog, social media. So all these things helping uh, the optimization of uh, searching and then it is being more noticeable by different people uh, while they search the uh, uh, online uh, platforms. 
creating uh, profiles at different label and monitoring the profile. Like I have my profile on uh, Scopus. So I have to check whether all my papers are properly uh, uh, indexed in Scopus or not. If there are any problem uh, or my papers are missing or someone else paper has been uh, tagged with my name, I have to monitor uh, continuously so that my accurate profile is maintained on the different platform. So use a Scoper author profile. It is free to use. You can create. Uh, you can use your RC ID to find out uh, uh, or to link with the Scopus ID so that you can easily track your paper, identify how many papers are indexed in Scopus, what is the citation index, what is the H index, and how your papers are progressing over the time in terms of citation. All these things are easily possible through the Scopus author profile. Another uh, uh, platform is Researcher ID. This is Web, uh, web of Science-based uh, uh, data. Uh, you have to create your Publon profile or Researcher ID, link your RCID ID, uh, so that you can easily track your publications like my H index, total number of publications, total number of citations, mm -hmm. how many people's uh, paper are being cited. All these things are very easily and effectively uh, managed by the researcher ID. RCID ID, this is another open researcher and contributor ID. This is very, very important uh, uh, information for all the researchers or faculty members to create a RCID ID and mention wherever uh, it is being asked. So this help you to integrate all your publications in one profile. So it is something we call it as a digital Aadhaar card. So, uh, so that uh, whenever you publish a paper, if your RCID ID is uh, mentioned there, all your paper will be put into one place used by different uh, platform, whether it's Scopus or whether the researcher ID or Google Scholar, all your paper are uh, intact with your name only because in india there are uh, different ways of naming like for uh, for name uh, uh, first name last name and abbreviated form of the name and most of us having the same name uh, similar kind of abbreviations for our name so acid id is uh, very very uh, essential to uh, intact your publication with your name only used by uh, published at different platform then Google Scholar, it is free to use. You can easily create your profile and update all your information on Google Scholar. You can also track your publications, uh, how their publications are being performed. Then ResearchGate is another uh, free to use platform where you can upload your paper, you can maintain your uh, records, and you can also have a research interest score and uh, then citations, then H index, all these things are also available from ResearchGate platform. You can share your paper uh, um, on the ResearchGate uh, following the copyright uh, laws of the publications. Then uh, in India, we have a very nice platform with one maintained by InFlimNet. So if your institutions, even uh, as an individual, you can also uh, create your uh, Vidwan profile uh, and then you upload your all the information because this Vidwan profile is being used by different uh, organizations to find out the expert in a subject area. So Vidwan, uh, maintaining Vidwan profile also uh, increase your visibility of research. Then uh, this uh, institutional uh, profile, uh, research profile like uh, IRINS, it is uh, again maintained by um, uh, InFlimNet. So where you can upload all your papers on your institutional author profile, and so you can showcase your visibility uh, over a global uh, network. Then some of the open platform like SSRN, uh, Social Science Research Network, is another very popular uh, platform where you can uh, do a lot of work related to your uh, research work. You can find out the literature, you can, uh, showcase your research work, you can share, you can build a network. All those things are very, very uh, crucial to uh, market your research with the global community in social science uh, area. Now the trend is changing where you can promote your research through video abstract. So now uh, uh, the publisher have also started asking 
to create a small video of two to three minutes to uh, to highlight the important uh, contribution given in the paper. So and video abstract are now becoming a very popular form of the uh, showcasing because uh, it's it, it's sort of a real culture. So whenever the people are making uh, 30 seconds reel, you can also create a video uh, abstract of your research and start putting on, uh, on on different platforms so that you can market this uh, research through global uh, community. Graphical abstract is another uh, important form, uh, important change is happening where the publisher itself asking graphical uh, abstract so that it's very easy to understand what actually has been done in your paper. So looking at the graphs, looking at the chart, looking at the uh, uh, this uh, uh, picture, the people can easily understand what is actually given in and they can they will go further to read your paper and then uh, there is a probable chance that your paper will be cited. So reading text then uh, uh, looking at the graph is much uh, uh, more impactful. So uh, people may not read your full abstract, but looking at the graph or picture, they can easily understand that what is uh, what kind of work has been done in your paper and they can go uh, reading to your full paper. Mendeley profile, another important uh, activity where you can create your Mendeley account. It is free to use and you can upload all your paper. You can build up network with the similar interest people. You can uh, start finding out the literature for citing, managing references. All those things are very, very easily uh, and very effectively possible on Mendeley uh, platform. So uh, it works both as a form of literature uh, review and also uh, managing your references. So uh, as an author, you can create a Mendeley profile. As a researcher, it is always advisable that you use Mendeley uh, or some reference management software to use your uh, references or manage your references with uh, effective time management. Then uh, publisher also uh, provide you options to share your uh, research in social media, email, institutional repository, print, uh, preprint repository, so that you can market your work on different platform. So uh, they provide a uh, uh, link for uh, some short duration. You they and ask them to share with your uh, peers, share with your, uh, or you can share with your blog. You can uh, share on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus, or you can also share with your uh, institutional website. All those options are provided by uh, provided by the publishers. And you can use these uh, tools effectively once your paper is published so that uh, it is reaches a global audience and large number of people. And also they allow you to posting your work in institutional repository based on certain guidelines. So uh, please look at those guidelines, what uh, options are available for you to post your uh, work in a preprint uh, pre repository or institutional repository uh, related to that uh, uh, publisher. Then uh, to summarize, uh, I can say that publication is a uh, byproduct of your research. So whenever you conduct research, you are supposed to bring out a certain kind of uh, product uh, in the form of publication books or patents that have a longer impact on the society. So it must be evaluated uh, from time to time so that uh, you able to understand that what kind of impact it is making over the society or the users. And uh, as an author, we must use different tools to promote our research activity. And then finally, use those impact to show that uh, your work is worthiness and you can enjoy the promotions, project grant, and many more. So uh, this is uh, the uh, how we can market our uh, uh, research over the different, uh, using different tools and techniques. And uh, I'm sure that uh, this presentation is going to be going to be useful to you as well uh, to use and also to market with your uh, faculty or with your uh, uh, research scholars. So this is all about. I wanted to uh, discuss uh, with this. Uh, I think one hour. So thank yeah. you, uh, thank you, Dr. Nimai, for yes. giving me this opportunity. Thank you so much. Okay, so 
uh, again, thank you, Dr. Sram, for a nice, precisely, and many, I think, participants will be immensely benefited because many new ideas regarding promotion of research visibility, slightly you have placed. May I now request our online participants, if you have any questions, you may unmute your audio, introduce yourself, just name and, name and institute, then put up your small questions, not to elongate any deliberation, just to specific questions on today's deliberation, whatever placed by Dr. Sidam, librarian, Sikkim Central University, or you can put up your questions through chat box. He may take up the questions from chat box and to deliver answer for all of us. So in both sides, it's open for the time of the participants. <clears throat> good afternoon, sir. Please. Ashwidam, sir, good afternoon. Yes, good this afternoon, is Vandana Khandelwal, sir, from MIT Academy of Engineering, sir. Yeah, good okay. afternoon, madam. How Please. are you, sir? All good, madam. How are you? Uh, sir, as always, uh, your session was outstanding, sir. Outstanding. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Sir, we really blessed with you. <laughs> Thank sir, you. my question is that, is there any way to increase citation? And uh, is self-citation considered or not? So increasing citation is not in your hand. It is uh, ultimately your content will speak how worthy it is uh, to be used by other person. So only thing is we have to push, put the best effort to market it, uh, to make it uh, visible to other people. And uh, if it is reaches a right audience, certainly it will get a citations. The second one is the self-citation. Self-citation is uh, considered as, uh, you can say that if it is essentially required, I'm not saying you can uh, cite blindly anything, but if it is essentially required, uh, when you are continuing a research to a certain uh, different directions, suppose Mali, uh, if you have a data uh, has been reported in one paper, and you want to continue the same research to another paper or another form, you are always uh, free to use your previous citations. But it is it should not be uh, unintentional and unuseful citation. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Anybody else? Yes, please. Uh, I'm Sumit Chakraborty. A PhD scholar for RTMNU, Nagpur University. Earlier, I have a session with you, sir, in uh, IGNU HRDC course. Okay, that was fine, sir. Your deliberation, your lectures was uh, one uh, outstanding, yeah. And still today is also there. So I, I, I ask one question, sir. In publication era, uh, the uh, directory of open access journal. Whenever we publish our journals in uh, uh, open, open access. So there is a lot of predatory journals are in, arising. We cannot define which is a predatory or which is access the, the, uh, the criteria match to publish our journals. So kindly elucidate in these sites. I will be very thankful for my research work. Also. Okay, so uh, understanding the predatory publications, you must understand yes. that uh, the nature of uh, uh, publication activity happening on the uh, happening by the journals. So uh, one of the very important uh, aspect is the indexing status. So uh, if uh, if you wish to publish a paper uh, in uh, in a genuine journal, I mean it must be indexed into some kind of indexing or abstracting databases. For example, uh, uh, Scopus, Web of Science, Indian Citation Index, then uh, Ibisco, uh, ProQuest. So many uh, databases are there who uh, index journal based on certain merits. So if it is, uh, and then uh, again, uh, the uh, uh, UGC has published care list. So all these things are very, very important uh, aspect need to be considered while uh, choosing a journal. So also take care of uh, the publish, uh, editorial policy or reviewing policy. So visit the policy uh, available uh, on the journal website, how they uh, uh, review the articles, how they uh, 
uh, process the editorial activity, the quality of publications. And then uh, if they are asking that uh, pay certain amount in three days or four days, your publication will be online. So please uh, take care of those things. So such kind of intentions generally lead to the predatory publications. So looking at uh, paying some amount and publishing in three days, I think it is uh, not possible for any genuine journal uh, because review required a lot of uh, time, a uh, lot of patience to have a critical comment on the uh, content embodied in the paper. And if you haphazardly review a paper, it is certainly not going to uh, create a, a, a genuine content and your paper may not be uh, impactful in future. So you can have a publish in two days or three days or a week, but uh, at later stage you are uh, having just a paper, not any impact on the impact of the paper. Okay. So is there any authentic list from India? For UGC care list. UGC care list is the, I think, one of the authenticity it provides. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else? Hello, uh, Dr. Ram, a very nice presentation, very informative one. And uh, you, could you just elaborate a bit on the Publons account? Is it mainly to highlight the peer review contributions? Uh, Publon is, uh, this peer review is a, a component also, because once you review a paper, it uh, you get certain credit. So uh, uh, whenever uh, you go ahead with the review, they ask whether you want to get a credit on this uh, uh, review or not. So if you say yes, so you will be, uh, your account will be credited with the review process. You can see that uh, uh, your, how many papers you have reviewed and what is the status of that paper, whether it has been published or not published or cited or not cited. So you can easily understand that whatever the content you have reviewed, whether it is having some impact on uh, after publication or not. So it is certain kind of give you confidence that the content which you have approved, it is having some kind of impact. Okay, anybody else? So there is a question uh, related to language. Know. It is a compulsory to publish uh, my research work in English. As we all see that uh, platform are published in English only. So now uh, it depends upon if you are other languages, there are certain journals which publishes uh, the content in that language also. So if you are from Hindi or uh, any other language, Indian language, you can use those like Russian, Chinese, Korean. There are so many, uh, they are publishing uh, content in their language also. So in India also, uh, the, there are journals which are publishing uh, content in uh, their life. Like I am a managing edit editor of one of the journal, uh, Purvatra Prabha. This is a Hindi uh, uh, language journal. So you can visit uh, our website, subp.cws.ac.in. So we publish this journal in Hindi. Anybody else to ask any question? I think no. So Dr. Sujit, may I ask you to have your comments since you are in both way connected with Dr. Siram and myself also. Sujit. So uh, she is saying, Dr. Siva is saying repeat. Okay. So what do you want to repeat? Repeat the website or repeat the answer? You can unmute and ask. Okay, so this is www.supp.cus.ac.in. Purvottar Prava. This is a website, journal website. We are publishing a Hindi journal. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, sir. It was really a good session. <laughs> Thank you. And best to hear you. Thank you, sir. Okay, so uh, I think we are uh, 
because the the feelings of participants shows the end of the day how it is going to be okay so i think we may not linger any more a uh, good thing need to be stop at one point otherwise the skewed may be lost its own position because participants and as dr siram repeatedly said and at the very last point he mentioned that video abstract which will be less than 3 minutes 2 minutes like that because at the present society what i guess time is the most precious material and since we are dealing with more and more technology our patience is very very impatient so we don't have much time to listen anything we don't have any patience to read a book like earlier one hour two hour three hour at a stretch and we don't have any patience to take any service be it shopping mall be it library be it classroom wherever it is we are very very impatient by our nature and value of time too so both are correct i don't uh, disagree with this but the issue is that to get more and more visibility we have to have precise information should be served should be catered in an efficient manner so that it will be accepted and cited by the society more and more that's the basic essence and there are many tools available as dr siram noted very efficiently and i think this video will be a kind of indicative to all of us to go through this and he is a man who is open learning environment resident so his mail id is there and also from sikkim central university you can have his mail id if you have any question any doubt please call him and i think he will be kind enough to give application so that we will reescalate our research and publication visibility because we being the library professional that's our basic agenda in the current phenomena to increase the research quality to increase to get more visibility citation and many more for which we are actually creating writing our knowledge so that's what i guess i understood and many new tools he has given over here and most of them are free so if we have a login there then we will have some sort of impetus from that to encourage our visibility and before winding it up it's a matter of courtesy to offer formal word of thanks may i now request my colleague uh, ramprasad da who is supposed to be the information scientist and one of the pillar of my technical phenomena at vishwadhi library family who is soldiering the every sphere of technical development of vishwadhi library he is the pillar he is the gem to me without ramda i cannot do he is also ram and that's why this is also our speaker is also ram so my starting and ending will be ram and ram so ramda please to come up to offer a lot of thanks to our another ramda from sikkim please ram prasad okay okay jishnu i am audible yeah yeah please you audible uh, thank you nimadan uh, this is uh, our today is our last day of consecutive six days awareness program technical awareness program first uh, first of all i convey my heartily congratulations and thanks to our university librarian dr dimai chand sawa to conduct and complete the successfully six day consecutive technical session uh, thanks to our central library and vishwavidyalaya library network and it says thanks to the dr siram ji for your uh, effective descriptive and uh, informative technical good presentations it will be most uh, i think very much helpful will be helpful to the new research scholar and new faculty member for their publication and their citation so thanks to our technical person dr jishnu mondol and shomo 
and thanks to our official staff, Budhi, Siblal, and uh, Budon. Without the technical staff, we could not be complete this uh, session successfully. So we are, again, I congratulate and thanks to the librarian Nimaida for successfully conducted uh, this type of session. So it will be helpful to the research scholar and faculty members to increase and enrich their uh, publication and for their citizens. Thank you. Thank you, Nimaida. So uh, with kind permission from Dr. Siran, let us now wind up this session. And uh, with your permission, by tomorrow, we will upload this video in our YouTube channel. And of course, I will share the link with you so that uh, it, yeah, it will be shared for all of us. And looking forward, a good relation, a good understanding for our future endeavor. Thank you very much Thank you. for accepting this invitation and Thank you. Uh, deliver this nice video. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Nimai, and thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Close the meeting.